so fired up for this fight that I can't Ooh. wait to see what he's got. Now, both of these guys, they're both 75 kilograms. And you can see from the onset. Yeah, Drona starts in fight very aggressive and strong kicks. And you have to, in a three round fight, you just can't pace yourself. Can't, oh, flying knee there from Perez. Now, these guys. They're not looking to win on points, are they? Both these guys want a knockout. Let's see. And I was just speaking to a few of the guys at the hotel, and Oy. Dronjak was there. God, these are big shots they're landing. The thing is, if you're putting this much power into, into your shots, it takes the wind out of you. Interesting, guys. Remember, we have three rounds, not one round. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't want to leave anything, Oy. nothing left in the gas tank at the end of the three rounds. Now, this is a big stage for both these guys, both making their debut. And under these cameras, lights, and with a packed out arena here in Varna, Bulgaria, it can put extra pressure on you. It's all part of the fight game and all part of becoming a champion. Now, Dronjak, he looks like he's blowing early. So he needs to get that wind out and just get his rhythm. So we've got a minute left of this first round. Ooh, good, my Giri. But not strong. Well, if any of these techniques land, they're going to do some damage. So there, whoa, that was a big left hand there from Perez. And Perez, very stiff, very sharp, looking to counter anything that Dronjak throws. There's that front kick again. And that's horrible, isn't it? That front tip or that... Uh, my Gary Jodan to the, you know, somebody's foot in your face. So, last 10 seconds of the first round, big shots thrown, kicks, punches, and knees from both guys. Dronjak goes back to his corner, a little bit bloodied around the nose, and blowing hard. Now, let's see if he's got his wind out. Maybe he didn't warm up as well as he should do. And that first round is gonna get that first wind out of him. But I have to say, Perez, Basso Perez from Portugal looked sharp yeah, yeah. and on fire. Perez is more round. experienced, I think. Because Dronak take ma many power, many power and many fast start. Yeah. I think this is not good for him. And you can see when Dronjak was throwing those big shots, yeah. Basso Perez was relaxed and yeah. just moving out of the way. Oh my God, look on the screen, oh. there's that XR1000 <laughs> M-Series BMW. Absolutely stunning motorcycle from our sponsors here in Varna, Bulgaria. BMW, this, I've got to, I'm in love with motorcycles. Call me. Yeah, yeah, call me, yeah. Me too. I'll leave my number. So here we go, second round of this under 75 kilogram full contact kickboxing contest, Century 21. Lovely combinations there from Dronjak. So, stiff low kick there from Perez. Finishing it again. Ooh, that was a big right hand. Nice, nice. But he, he wore it well. Those low kicks that Perez is, thro is throwing are going to take their toll. They're stiff with the shin. Into the thigh of Dronjak. There it is again. He loves those jumping knees, doesn't he? And Basso Perez, like I say, he's got Waco Pro credentials coming out of everywhere. Intercontinental European and Mediterranean champion. 
He looks in fantastic condition. He's relaxed, focused. Oy. Yep, he threw a nice straight a one-two there, and then followed it up. With, he does. There's that jumping knee again. Groniak have good head. <laughs> well, very strong. It's strong. He's tired now, but those, these punches and kicks and knees are going to take their toll. He's in the fight. <laughs> Perez there wondering where that kick ended up, about out in the audience somewhere. Still looking to land that jumping knee. And I feel that Droniak is a little bit demoralized. Nice punches. Oh, that knee landed. We felt that here. So we've got a minute left of this second round. Perez goes down, but that was a slip. Perez just sort of playing with him now, but um, I don't feel that Dronjak is showing us everything that he's got, and I, I just think he got tired very quickly. I don't know whether he cut weight or he's been travelling or, or something, but I just feel that he got drained earlier on in the first round. So he's struggling a bit cardio-wise, which isn't allowing him to perform to the level I'm sure he can. But credit to Basso Perez whose favorite technique is those flying <laughs> knees. Coming to the end of the second round here. Now, they go back to their corners. Basso Perez, he looks ready to come out of the third already. Now let's see the Serbian, the Canadian Serbian. Let's see his corner fire him up. He's got one round. And he's got to turn this fight around in some extraordinary way because at the moment it's 10 9 10 9. Yeah. To I the think blue he's corner. Very, very tired and he needs knockouts. He needs a knockout. Only knockouts. Now, it's not exhaustion from um, the physical effort of this contest. I don't know whether it's the stage, electrolytes, dehydration, something has affected him. Um, Seconds out. You know, he's a champion in kickboxing. He's been around a while. Now he's bouncing a bit as he comes out for this third and final round. Maybe he's got that second win now. Wouldn't that be fantastic if he could okay, turn it around? See. There we go. A little bit sharper. And I spoke to him. I spoke to these guys earlier. And, oh, that was stiff. Yeah. <laughs> I felt that. And another one. Yeah, I spoke to them earlier. I said, just, you know, imagine if you were told that you can't ever fight again. Uh, everything that you think is painful, you'd actually dream about it, feeling those feelings again. The anxiety, the pain of training, the sweat, the tears. Everything that you don't like now, you'd want it again. If you couldn't ever fight again for some reason. And I'm saying that because I'm 57 on Monday and <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> it's terrible. Well, did I say getting? I got old. I got old quickly. I didn't realize that it. That looks good. Uh, yeah, I look fantastic. Come on. <laughs> it's a shame we're not sponsored by some plastic surgery or something. I don't know. But anyway, back to this fight. So, Beso Perez here dominating the action. Stefan Droniak. Oh, there. Oh, two low kicks. Check that last one. Flying knee again from Perez. But should Perez up the pace here? Yeah. Could he finish the fight, do you think? Yeah. So. We've got, we're coming up to a minute left of this third and final round. And Droniak being pushed back into the corner. He doesn't want to be there. 
he's going to end up taking one of those flying knees if he gets stuck in that corner. <laughs> And he's really blowing. He's felt the pace here right from the very first round. Perez here still going strong. Maybe he should be doing more. Let's give the crowd something special, especially in your Senshi debut. So still busy, 30 seconds to go. Dronyak. He could pull something special out the bag. He's being dominated right now. And he's going to feel that left leg tomorrow for sure. Marked up around the right eye as well. God, those knees, if they land, they're just going to be terrible. There was a little bit of a matrix move there as Perez moved out of the way of that high kick. Final few seconds. So Dronyak's going to make it to the end of the fight. Three rounds. I think he did very well, actually. I'm not sure he was firing on all cylinders tonight. Because he seems to be showing exhaustion right from the first round. I mean, full credit to him. The action was world class. But Perez outclassed Dronyak. And a very, very classy performance there from the Portuguese fighter, who undoubtedly has won that contest three rounds with three judges, all giving it his, his way. And I'm going to go and speak to Dronyak after this fight and just find out what happened there. Because I'm sure he's going to be disappointed with his performance because I, I'm certain that he's got more in the bag, more to show. And we have the official scorecard from the judges. Fighters, but please come to the center of the ring. You don't get a second chance here in a three round fight. It is a judge number one, 30 to 27. Judge number two, 30 to 27. And 30 to 27 in favor of the blue corner, Basso. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. As we predicted, Basso Perez from Portugal. I'm certain that he's going to be invited back. Absolutely classy, world-class performance there of kickboxing action. And Stefan Dronjak, I'm disappointed for him. He was fired up this weekend. And... Um, smiling, enjoying his time here, but uh, I just feel there may have been something in his preparation which didn't allow him to perform at the highest level once it was time to fight. But this is all part of the fight game, ladies and gentlemen. Hydration, cardio preparation, weight cutting, etc., etc. So, you know, getting punched and kicking your opponent is just part of this game.